Hello everyone, my name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel, another day of subsistence. This is day three. Alright, so if you follow me and have your notifications turned on, then you may have seen in the community tab, I posted a little update as to what happened in this game, and I'll show you real quickly what just happened. Okay. So, in the middle of the night, I thought it'd be a good idea. I had the fire burn. I thought, you know what? I'll step off to the side and gather a little bit of wood. A lot of you guys left me some good tips on things of saying, hey, by the way, you know, you're going to need a lot of wood. So, I thought I'd gather some wood in the dark, get a few supplies real close to the base. No big deal. You know, just just kind of take it easy. And a damn bear showed up and killed me. And, of course, I spawned in nowhere near the base and uh, ran back through the dark while freezing and you can see my life is quite low it's slowly going back up now that the sun's finally up and i'm not freezing to death but i got back and i was like okay i need to go get all my stuff that the bear took from me and uh proceeded to sit there and watch him sit on top of my dead body's backpack for a while and just camp there and by the time i got him to leave my stuff despawned. So, what you have sitting here is all I have. I lost my lockpick, I don't have my bow and arrow, all the supplies I had, the little bit of food that I have, all of it's gone. So this is basically day three starting over at day one. I found some bullets, but I don't even have my pistol that you normally start the game off with. It's uh, it's very frustrating, and so I post, oh shit. I posted on there, uh, you guys wanted me to start playing Mist, and quite a few people said yes. Like, the majority of people, like 76% of the people who voted said yes, they wanted to see me play it. But most of the people that responded said, you know, they don't want to see me stop playing this. They wanted to see me to push through, basically, to, to try and see if I can survive. And if I can make it after that kind of detrimental lost then you know maybe there's hope for us all so this is basically going to be me trying to survive again and trying to regather some supplies and so i'm going to head let me see i think i'm going to head like east and southeast i hope i can get away from some of the colder bits i'm not i'll kind of glance at the map online to see if there's a specific area that has you know better chance ooh, some arrows better chance at not freezing to death than others and there really didn't see anything that indicated you know a specific use of anything here oh and also last time some people were telling me to use biofuel can you could use that to light up the uh campfire that only works for engines i actually crafted some before i died uh lost it can't use it on campfire so I'm probably can use it like the wood burning stove or something but uh, there was somebody had mentioned that hey look there's another bear let's go mess with him so he messed with me but I don't have very many supplies. So, so today what I'm going to try and do is gather as many supplies as possible because I know I need to start getting some more reinforcements out of the base. Now, real quick, I'll also mention in complete honesty stuff, I took a lot of people's suggestions. A lot of people mentioned this. And for the moment, I turned off hunters. I'll turn them back on when I get a little bit more situated. But from what I've heard, they don't really come after you. They don't like roam around and come attack you in your own base. It's more like if you accidentally get too close to wherever in the world they are, they will attack you. And I don't want that. Especially since I'm on day three, starting over on day one, and have zero weapons. I figure I'll turn them off for now. Kind of get a little bit of situation going. You know, clean some things up. Oh, I got some more cordage there. Good. I need to make some more cordage so I can make a bow again. So I have something to hunt some food. Because I'm really low on supplies, as we've indicated before. So yeah, I'm quite new in this. I know people have linked uh, Let's Plays and stuff in there. If it's a brand new game, I typically try not to watch too many Let's Plays. You know, I was watching Glock play this for a little bit while he was, just because we're along the same lines of play styles and stuff, and it was kind of giving me some ideas as to what to go through, whatever. But for the most part, I'm trying to stay doing this blind, unless I just can't figure out how to do something. Uh, that's a teeny tiny little tree. So right at the moment, I'm kind of just looking around to gather some more supplies. I don't know how far I want to go from my actual base. You can see it's a good little ways over there. Definitely want to get back over there before dark but i need to find as many of these little crates and chests and backpack as i possibly can to get as much food and ammo and uh, I, ju I just need supplies and fortunately i'm seeing a few fiber plants over here oh it's funny is also uh, people have mentioned while they're watching they're just like oh cap the number of times you walked right past a fiber plant it just hurt my heart trust me when i'm going through and doing the editing i see those same things um watching somebody else play a video game versus playing it yourself is an entirely different experience you uh, and i get this on people who, like watch some seven days that i videos like where i was doing the dishong tower thing and they're just like oh it's very clear you knew what you were going you were just faking whatever like no it's it's easy to see solutions and things around you 
when you're not the one who's actually moving. It's always easier to pay attention when somebody else is playing. And so if you think I'm just completely blind, I promise when I'm going back and doing the editing on this stuff, I see it just as easily as you do. And most of the time I'm just like, oh, man, it was right there. I could have got it, saved myself so much time. But no, I walked right past it. Because trying to keep an active running commentary going while playing a game takes a little bit of skill. Also, trying not to die, trying to you know keep your head on a swivel and look to see where things are going, all that takes a little bit more effort than just playing, you know, being quiet and paying attention to your own little world here. It's a different animal doing a whole lot of talking while you're actually still playing. So I'm hoping, really, really hoping. See, every time I see a little jutting of rocks like that, that looks like a tent. I mean, I know it's not. I'm not even going to bother and go check because there are no tents here. Ooh, there's a crate. Come on. There's some scrap metal. So I'm hoping against all hopes and stuff that I'll find some really, really good stuff. And I can say like, yay, I'm back to normal. All right, I got some more blueberries. I'm going to go ahead and eat one. Just kind of get the old fruits and vegetables up a little bit. Protein's a little low. I did find a protein bar, so that's good. Ooh, a grub. Oh, yeah, you're telling me off these big fat trees, which... Uh, I found one earlier. I don't know where they went. Can you just eat a grub? If I just eat a grub, can I just eat one? I can. Okay, so it raises your protein up just a little bit. Okay, grubs are good to have. Uh, those are the big old fat trees. I need to find some more of those because free food is always a good thing. And I also know that in order to get some good protein, I need to go get some kelp, which y'all were saying that it works a lot better in the small little, uh, like little rivers and streams and little ponds that big lake that i'm next to it's not really a good source for it just because it's just not a good source for it you know i didn't I almost drown last video trying to actually figure that out so you know we're gonna we can see what we can come up on here oh boy okay so this may or may not be a super long video but we'll see how it actually goes like i said i'm gonna try and just gather some supplies and get some things going here now also i want to say I know people typically subscribe to the channel and show up for seven days that I video. So for anybody who's watching this, thank you. The people that support the non seven days that I videos, I truly do appreciate your support on the channel. I really, really do. It allows me, it gives me more confidence to branch out and do things other than just seven days to die. I mean, you, you got to keep it fresh or whatever. Or people get bored. Even the people that are fans of the game will want you to play something different after a while. And also, you know, the people that actually stick all the way through the videos or through the majority of I truly do appreciate that, too. The average watch time on the first two videos of this was only like seven and a half minutes. So that means, you know, 27-minute video, people are only watching about seven minutes of it. It's expected. I honestly don't expect anybody to watch an entire 27-minute video. But for those of you that do, just know that you are all-stars and um, get your game on and go play. So thank you on that. So yeah, that's all we're going to do today is kind of gather some supplies and try to get it back to normal. Uh, let me see, how many fibers do I have? I need to try and make some more cordage. Can I make just one more? Dang it, I'm not anywhere close to making a bow. I see some chickens running around. I don't have anything to kind of get on. I do not think I can catch them with an axe, nor do I think I could actually hit them if I got close enough to. I don't have any confidence in my skills on axe wielding. Now, I don't want to get... What was that? Oh, okay, just let me know my crafting complete. The little ding that you get sometimes after you've started crafting and wander off kind of makes me jump when it goes off because, like, something bad just happened. So we've got a rabbit right there, a chicken right over there, and no means to get them. All right, so we found the fence here. So we're on the far edge of the northeast, and this is east. We'll keep going this way just a little bit. I'm not going to go too much further before I circle back and go the other way. Just trying to... Just trying to get some supplies going here, so let's see what's on the other side of this little hill here. If there's anything useful that's just jumping out at me. Let's see, I'm not seeing anything really that's just like, ooh, come get me. Or any okay, so there's a uh, I don't know, if you if you're playing this, what is the best direction to go to find, you know, better supplies? Uh, I've, I've heard some people say staying close to the fence is good. I heard people say stay away from the fence. I think I'm going to head back this direction. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just head back this way. I'm going to kind of stay near the fence this direction. No, don't run. So, yeah, we'll, we'll run back over here closer to the base. And we'll pick back up in just a minute. All right, we have managed to make it back to the general area where the base is. There's a wolf between me and the base, but it's right over there. So I'm going to continue on along this side over there. I think I finally have enough stuff. I can finally craft a bow again. I'm not going to have very much ammo to go with it as far as like arrows and stuff, but it'll at least give me something to start with. What is this? Onions. Nice. Okay, so I picked up some carrots while I was along the way too. What do they do? 
fruits, vegetables, and hunger. All right, I'll eat. I'll eat those. I don't worry about planting them and stuff right now. I'm just. And you know what? what how, does an apple give me any protein? No, but blueberries need protein. What about some carrot seed? Oh, no, that's not going to help. Also, a moment of, whoops, I'm sorry, I got this wrong earlier. Okay, you are telling me that under the um, plus sign here, the medical thing, you can use to make biofuel, which you can. It says it's used for engines. You make it out of the recipe of those medicinal herbs. But then I forgot you were talking about the fire starter kit. You can use the biofuel for that with some sticks to make a fire starting kit. So I can use that to make a fire later on. So and I haven't found any matches yet, but at least I'll have that. So, um... I apologize if that's what y'all is referencing, and I'm stupid and got that incorrect. Know that I didn't mean it on purpose. Let's see. I think I have... Alright, I got... What, one arrow? No arrows? How many arrows? I have one arrow. How, many, how do I make arrows? Let's see. That would be under bullets. Arrows. I need sticks. Alright, so let's do a couple sticks. We'll get a couple of those while, while we keep going here. We need a couple arrows here. Maybe we can find us a nice juicy chicken or a rabbit. And as we get closer to nightfall, then we can, you know, make our way back towards the base. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can get back to surviving a little bit. Okay, so we got just two feathers. All right, so we can make two more arrows. It's not, it's not terrible. So we got to make sure we're not all willy-nilly when it comes to randomly losing arrows here so we gotta make sure our aim is true when we're shooting the rabbits and the chickens and stuff here and you know from one thing i've noticed about the game also um, before i even mention something i did notice when i was at the base freezing my butt off is that when you look at the campfire the things now over in the right hand corner it pops up and it tells you to hit the end button to dismantle and things like that you know it tells you the buttons to pick up and move you know the little shortcuts that i was showing you last time the last update they added it so it's actual overlay in the game and tells you about it so if you didn't know now you can actually see it happen is that a little chest up here yes it is okay good all right, so I have some arrows. Okay, yay, yay, yay. Okay, I have some arrows. We're getting back to it. I don't feel like I'm so terribly gone. Oh, nice. What are these? Plant seeds. All right, we got some more blueberries. Oh shoot. Okay, I hate to do it. I'm go ahead and eat the protein bar. Get it back up into the at least to the orange, almost back to the yellow. I'm gonna have to get some meat in me pretty soon. That's gonna be the biggest thing. And don't take that the wrong way. Okay, I think we got us a rabbit over here. Oh, it's chicken. Chicken is definitely fast. That is a fast chicken. Holy cow. Okay, so this way it looks like it's heading back up towards the mountains. That's definitely the colder areas, down to 15 degrees Celsius here, which I think somebody's like, ooh. Okay, come here, chicken. We're going to see if we can do this. I think I can see it right over there. i got to get a little closer, though. It's only got, what, three or four arrows here? I definitely don't want to waste it. Oh, I wasted it. I was a little short. Damn it. I wish there was some sort of like cro Can I pick up my arrow? It's right there. Yes, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank God. Okay. Let's try that again. I wish there was like an actual crosshair there. And also the way you knock a bow, you just hold the right mouse button. Yes. I hit it once. Oh. Come here. Go ahead and pick up that chicken. Uh, let's see. I don't know if they'll take off and run from here or not, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and kill that bad boy. <laughs> I'm not even going to risk having him, you know, start clucking along on my arms and start running back here. Okay, so I feel like I'm not so dire right at the moment. I don't know where the sun is. I think it's probably... Just leave me alone. We're going to run. No, don't do it. Just wander off. Just wander off. We don't need any of that. We're going to head back to the base. This is going to be a shorter video. Like I said, this one's kind of going to just getting things back to normal. Uh, I feel like I'm almost back to where I was. Oh, I got a bear and a wolf. Damn it. Okay. Was that wolf still following me? Maybe I can head back up the hill and bypass both of these bad boys. Looks like there's a storm blow. I say that as it starts storming. Great. That's not going to help with the temperature if it starts pouring down rain. Oh, I need a roof on my base. I already know I'm going to get there, and I'm going to... This is just... This is terrible. I'm a horrible survivor in this game. Stop railing at me. Yes, I know I need to not run. I'm wasting stuff, but... You got to do what you got to do. Oh, great. Now it's raining. 
Ooh, there's a chest right here that I didn't get. Please be something good. Please be something good. Maybe something good. Uh, scrap metal and nails. So at least when I get ready to start building stuff on the base. Uh, temperature's going to start dropping. Ooh, did I get this? No, I didn't get that one either. I didn't see that one. Whoops. I accidentally let it go. Uh, bullet casings and gunpowder again. Okay, that's, well, eventually that'll be good. Ooh. No! Ah, oh, damn it. See, I always forget that it's not knocked back and whatever. It just it feels like there's an extra button click that I should be doing before I fire that off. And, um, I don't know. I just played so many other games the way uh, the arrow mechanics work. I feel like I need to push another button. God, that one was so close. I had to, like, scare the poop right out of him. Okay, where'd you go? I was hoping to get one more chicken. be nice to fill my protein up, like, most of the way before... I hear you. I see you right there. I'm going to get this chest real quick. Then we're going to head back to the house. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter vehicle. Hey, got some toilet paper. Some water. I know it's a bandage. It just looks like a roll of toilet paper. So, you know. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? Okay, last round, the last video, I was bragging him how good I was with a bow and arrow. Now, I don't think I could. I can't hit him when he's standing perfectly still. Robin Hood, I am not. Okay, let's go in sneaky mode. Okay, there we go. That hit him, finally. Oh, I wish I'd get my arrow back there. I need to go ahead and kill that bad boy, too. Wait, wrong one. Kill him. Ha! Ah. I'm wondering, um, I guess I'll be finding out here soon enough if, uh, Having the fire going while it's raining outside, you know, if it'll basically just put the fire out. Anyway, what I was going to say earlier is I've noticed this thing seem to respawn pretty quickly, like around the base. Like, I log out and log back in, and when I come back, there's plants and stuff around here that I can recapture again. So, you know, that's not exactly a, a terrible thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I do this, let me see, if I, if I, you know what, hang on, let me see, can I do just a regular, I don't have any cordage. Uh, let's see here. I need to actually. I need to do a roof, a ceiling here. I need quarters for that one too. I'm gonna. I need way more quarters than I have. Can I even make any quarters? Let's see. Not much. I was hoping I could build like a wall and a roof over the top of it, just to kind of give me one little level of storage, and then I'll start building it up this way. It's gonna be the world's crappiest base, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. So we're gonna put just a basic wall over here as soon as we get some cordage. I don't think even a half wall is not going to help anything, but with it pouring down rain, temperatures going down, sun's going down, I need a roof. Oh, this isn't going to go well for a cap. We'll get a wall here. Just a regular wall. Full wall. It's going to take a week to ca uh, craft here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go ahead and wrap this up because I know this is going to be getting a little bit on the longer side of things. I'm going to see if I can find some more fiber. I think I see one sitting right there. That's one more. I think I can use that to get some more quarter. There's another one down here. Another chicken. You know what? Ah, oh, I thought I could get him. I thought I was. I was confident on that one. Let's see if I can find my arrow. Okay, I get one more cordage here. Oh, I thought I just. I thought I just picked up two. Did I not? Uh, okay. I'm a horrible survivor. I'm just kind of looking for basic supplies real quick. I'm going to run back, get my wall going, wind's blowing, temperature's dropping. Oh, all I need is just one more fiber. Go ahead and pick this up real quick. I've already died once with this. Oh, shoot, life error. Uh, what do we got here? What is that? Leather? Oh, cloth. Okay, that's good. It's more biofuel. Oh, great. I'm malnourished. That's just fantastic. I'm sorry. Here, here. Eat an apple. Get that back up a little bit. Pick kelp legs for easy food. All right, well, you know, that is definitely the goal. How about you calm down the storm and we'll be all right. All right, so let's see. We do uh, this. Let's see if we can snap this bad boy onto this side. I don't think that's going to help with it. Okay, so let's see. Can we make a ceiling? We need more planks. Let's see, wood planks. I can make a couple of those. And for another ceiling, we're going to have to have more cordage. I don't have enough to make a single cordage, and I need two. So, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's one right there. See? It just randomly spawned back in. 
I'm I'm okay with that. I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna argue. Like it's not realistic. It didn't grow back, you know, in a timely fashion. Nope. There's a wolf over there. Okay. All right. So we're probably gonna wrap this video up here. But uh, thank you guys so much for all the support on this video. Truly do mention. You know, like I mentioned it earlier, I, I truly do appreciate it. And um, you know, it's it's helped me keep going with these kinds of videos. And uh, you know, so always you know leave your likes and your comments and stuff on there of encouragement tips to keep me from sucking so bad all of that is always appreciated i need like one more fiber and i'm out of stamina i guess this wind is just going to be terrible but in the meantime we're going to find this one last fiber and we're going to get us a roof put on and we're going to make it to the next day in the meantime thank you guys so much for all the support again if you enjoyed the video do me a favor hit that thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos thank you guys so much for your time you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.